Hello everybody, uh, Dan Calloway here again today and thanks for watching. Um, I'm back in my favorite uh, daily driver operating system for Linux. It's a Linux distro called Silent OS XFCE or otherwise known as Arch XFCE 4-13. So it's uh, version 13. Um, really I love this. I mean last night I went through the process of uh, wiping and loading the, the new ISO that Silent Robot put up on SourceForge so I could get the later edition. This is a rolling distro of Arch by the way so there's never a need to have to do what I did last night uh, unless you just want to redo your entire operating system to a, another version. Uh, this is this is one I'm going to keep for a while um, and so I'll never have to upgrade it because it's a rolling distro and rolling distros don't require upgrade. They, they are constantly upgraded uh, through the rolling uh, release process, and I get uh, rolling releases all the time. All right, so this is uh, this is Arch Linux, and um, got it set up just exactly like I want it. I love it. What I want to do today is I want to show you uh, an application or package that I installed that does not come with uh, Arch XFCE 4-13, and that is an Office Suite. Uh, if you go into this uh, whisker menu here and come down to office and come across the only thing that comes out of the box uh, here is dictionary and Zathura okay what I did was I added uh, QPDF view which is um, a viewer for PDF files and then I install this suite right here which is called free office 2018 it comes with text maker presentations and Plan Maker. It looks just like 2016 Office. Um, it's got the ribbon and the whole nine yards. It's free. Uh, what you have to do to, to uh, install it, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, it is free to you. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, you get free updates to it. Um, the only thing is you have to register on the site, and I'll show you the process that you have to go through to do that. First thing I want to do, though, is show you I've got an update here in my operating system. One available update. I've got to get into the terminal anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I do that. Um, right click on the desktop, select Terminal Emulator. Brings up the Arch Linux view here. This is nice too, by the way. This is an addition uh, from the 2019-13 version of Silent OS over the 12. This didn't come with 12, but this does come with 13. I love it. It gives us, you know, the OS, uh, your OS, the host name of the OS, the uptime, the kernel version. I'm running 4.20.8, uh, TAC Arch 1, TAC 1, TAC Arch. That's the latest uh, kernel. I've got the Ben Bash shell. I've got 1,296 packages here uh, on the system. Uh, it's an XFCE4 desktop environment. I've got the Adwaita Dark uh, GTK2 theme. I've got the Numix Circle icon theme. I've got the Ubuntu 10.5 font name uh, for fonts, and they're really nice. Uh, I am screencasting, so I am uh, pulling 987 megs of uh, memory here out of uh, a total of eight, so it's 12%. Still not bad at all, even though I'm, you know, because I'm screencasting here with simple screen recorder. Uh, tells my information about the CPU, uh, gives the boot, home, and root location, and the file system that uh, was installed under each. You'll notice here, uh, just an aside, I allocated uh, 512 actually megs of um, partition space to the boot partition. Uh, but you notice I've got it formatted ext2 rather than ext4 like I do the home and root. And there's a reason for that. Um, that there's no reason that the boot sector or boot partition, rather, in an operating system uh, have a journaling file system installed in it. In fact, it's advantageous not to have a journaling file system, which ext4 is. Uh, ext2 is not. Uh, and the reason uh, that that's advantageous is because without the journaling impact, uh, the boot time is greatly uh, decreased. So it doesn't have to journal. It doesn't have to go through the journal uh, to recover anything. Uh, so, you know, it boots right up. 
if I have it as ext4, then it uh, takes a little bit longer because of the journaling process. So I just wanted to mention that. All right, so what do I do to upgrade my system since I do have, um, as I said, one update available here? Is first of all, I go out and update the mirrors uh, that uh, Arch looks at whenever it does a an update of the repos and an upgrade process. And to do that on this system, all I have to do is sudo reflect. And if you're in the UK, let me just put the password in. If you're in the UK, you'll need to put sudo reflect UK. Everywhere else, just put sudo reflect. And what this does is it goes out and finds the 20, 20 fastest mirrors, and there they are. And there's the server names, and that's the ones it's going to be using to do the update of the repos and the upgrade of the system. Next step is to run sudo uh, pack update. It's going to update the database, the repositories. And then finally, pacupg, okay, for upgrade. It's going to go out and upgrade everything. Tells me that I have one package that needs to be updated, which corresponds to the notice I got, notification. So it's going to go ahead and do that. And this is very quick uh, now that I've uh, updated the mirrors uh, as well as the database itself. So I'm done. Okay. So let me clear the screen. All right. Um, let me show you how I installed. Let me just leave this terminal open. Let me go back over here. Let's go to the web. And if you go to a website called www.freeoffice.com, okay, this is the English version. Here's Free Office, all right? Uh, Free Office is a great Office suite. Like I said, it is comparable to Microsoft Office 2016. It is uh, for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, and uh, it is says here, it says on the website, best Microsoft Office alternative overall, and that's by Digital Trends. I've been using Free Office 2018 for a while now. I, I would say probably three months at the outset, and I am sold on it. I mean, this thing is wonderful. Um, it is a shoe in for Microsoft Office Suite. If you're familiar with Microsoft Office, Nice thing about it, I don't have to pay a dime for this. If I want to download this, you can go up to the download link, select that, and uh, when it opens up, um, you can come down the screen here, down the page. Here's what you have to do, okay? You have to register your name, company, you can just leave it. You have to choose something here. It doesn't matter what it is, um, but you know, I mean country, sorry, not company, country. United States is what I put in, of course, but if you're Australia or something else, you can put that in. And then an email address. And uh, once you do that, it will free up the right-hand side so that these buttons become active. And you can choose either Windows, Mac, or Linux, okay? Of course, I chose Linux. And then just hit the download button. And then what happens is it sends, it gives you a zip file in the download and then you just go out and extract it. And when you extract it, uh, there is an executable. It's already got the executable bits on it. You don't need to add those or change it, chmod it. Um, and so let me get back into the terminal and show you where that is. I've got it stored, I think, in the downloads directory. So I'm going to change directory to downloads. And let me run an lslh. And there it is. Okay. It's um, install free office, all right? And so in order to install free office uh, 2018, all you need to do is do a dot forward slash install, hit the tab there, and hit the enter key, and, uh, and it'll walk you through the process. I'm not going to do it again because I've already got it installed, obviously. Uh, but that's all you got to do. Now, this, I will warn you, this will take some time. It has to update a lot of uh, databases, uh, font packages, etc. So when it says it's going to take a few minutes to install, uh, you know, go get a cup of coffee uh, and make a sandwich or something, come back. It takes about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Well worth it. I guarantee it. So let me go ahead and clear the screen here, exit out of the terminal. 
And I've got the icon already here for uh, the Word uh, version of this, FreeOffice 2018. It's called TextMaker, which is the word processor. It's equivalent to Microsoft Office Word, okay? Um, but if you come up here to the Whisker menu and get into Office and come across, here it is as well, all right? So when you install it, the this one, this one for presentation, which is equivalent to uh, Microsoft uh, presentation, um, or Plan Maker, which is equivalent to Excel. Okay, all three of these are equivalent to Microsoft Office Suite products. Uh, they're there for you. So let me go ahead and open up uh, Publisher. Is what I meant to say. Let me go ahead and open up Text Maker. Just do one click on the uh, panel here and open it up and this is what it looks like now this looks just like the ribbon um, you know in the Microsoft Office 2016 um, I'm telling you it lands on the home tab you've got a file tab that has you know open close save as save all print print preview print properties you know the, the very stuff that you see in Microsoft Office break table picture text frame, you can add a hyperlink, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff. You got different layouts that you can choose here, okay? Very look very familiar if you're a Microsoft Office Suite user, you'll you'll agree with me. Uh, references for uh, bibliographic manager type stuff here. You got a tab for mailings, okay? Uh, one for reviewing documents. Uh, spell checker is here. I mean, you know, you got it all here. Uh, view as well. You can do a standard, continuous, master page, object mode, uh, you name it. Fit, you know, fit margins, full page, two pages. Very nice suite. This is just the word portion. This is just part of it. This is not all of it. Let me go ahead and uh, go to the file tab. Let me open a document that I have. It's a test document. It's called Lorem Ipsum Test Page. And let me click OK. And there it is. All right, so this is a, a you know a sample document that I filled in here just to show you what it looks like. It's on 150% right now, but I can take it down just like you do in Microsoft Office, okay? Uh, or bring it back up um, so that you can uh, control you know uh, what it looks like, easier to see, uh, fills the page or not, and then you can you know do other things to uh, to fill the page as well. Um, but um, if you do a uh, control A, it highlights the entire page just like it does in Microsoft Office. Um, let's say you have something down here. Let me just bump it up uh, to 150% here. Let's say if I had uh, a couple of words, I want to make a hyperlink out of it. Let's say this right here. Just want to make this a hyperlink. Uh, I can come up here and I can go insert hyperlink brings up this uh, dialog box and I can just put in the uh, URL okay and click um, OK and it turns this into a hyperlink and you can see it turns into a hand when I hover over it so um, I mean this is uh, I mean, if I click on it it should open up the browser to the web page let's see if it goes out here um, here we go. Uh oh, it's asking me to unlock the ring, so hold on a minute. Uh, this pops up occasionally. Didn't open up uh, the first time. So when I clicked on that hyperlink, it, it took me to YouTube, which is what it's supposed to do. I really didn't have to switch screens. Um, all right, so we're back to to um, Text Maker, uh, which is the uh, equivalent to Microsoft. Office Word. So this is what it looks like. You've got a margin thing over here if you want to click on it. It pops this Welcome to Free Office out and you've got some information in here that you can use. Um, you can visit Free Office by clicking on that link right there which is where actually we are right here uh, or were here. I mean um, well, I've closed it I guess. Uh, let's click on it. Let's go ahead and click on it and bring it back up again. All right, so it's loading that uh, page again in um, 
my default web browser, which is Mozilla Firefox. So this is free Office. Now, uh, you will get a key with this. It'll come in an email. Uh, you will need to insert that key into the application. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, but you will need to do that before you can use it. Otherwise, it won't let you use it. Uh, and if you can store that key, so if you do need to reinstall the application, just use the same key over again. It doesn't time out on you. But uh, great Office Suite. Uh, highly recommend you get it. Um, it's comparable to Microsoft Office Suite, as I said. Uh, it's actually better than uh, WPS Office. Um, I've used that as well. I think it's better. And definitely better than LibreOffice. I am not a big fan of LibreOffice anymore. And you'll notice that uh, LibreOffice did not come out of the box here with uh, Arch Linux uh, XFCE 13. Okay, And there's a reason for that. All right, so let me get back to, I've got six workspaces here. So let me get back to the workspace. And um, what I wanted to do here is, um, let's see, let me get into File Manager and show you. This is FreeOffice 2018. This is where it installed. And in the Documents, or the Downloads directory, rather, here's where the Install FreeOffice uh, resides. So I can reinstall it if I want to. But you'll need to do that uh, via, the web, via the web. Um, I mean via the terminal. What I also wanted to show you too, let's get back into Office and let's go up to the equivalent of PowerPoint which is Free Office 2018 presentation. Once you put the key in one of the apps you don't need to put the key in every one. So uh, it opened it right up. So this looks like to me very much like Microsoft uh, Office uh, PowerPoint. Okay very much like PowerPoint. Uh, in fact, it's got all of the tabs that you see up here are just like the tabs uh, that you see in PowerPoint. And tabs do come and go if you're doing something in and you've got something that in the menu that needs to have its own tab selection. That pops up as well. Alright, so let me go ahead and close this one. And then finally, there's a third application in FreeOffice 2018. Uh, which is Office Plan Maker. This is the equivalent of Excel spreadsheet program. And you'll agree with me when you see it. This is what it looks like. Okay, with, with the tabs down here, the whole nine yards. This looks just like, even with the color scheme, looks just like uh, Microsoft Office Excel. All right. There is um, a professional version of this that will cost you money. Very cheap though, I think it's only like $30 for a year um, or maybe for the whole the whole package for forever. Um, but if you go onto the website, let me go ahead and close this, um, you can locate the information for, um, it's called SoftMaker. Uh, I believe there's a link to it here. I'm not exactly sure where it is, so I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can find SoftMaker on the web. Let me just put in SoftMaker. Office, there we go. There's SoftMaker Free Office, that's what we're on now. SoftMaker Office, okay, and there we go. Let me click on this link. It should take us to, yeah, it's www.softmaker.com. This is the professional version. Uh, you can order it. So if I do an order now, let's see how much it is. Okay. All right. This is the NX Universal version. There are other versions there are that are cheaper. This is the one I was thinking of. This is the home version, called SoftMaker Office NX Home for Windows, Mac, or Linux. It's a yearly subscription. It is twenty nine ninety. So I was right. It's twenty nine ninety per year, um, which it, it isn't bad. And I'm not really sure what you get. Other than you get, um, you know, you, you'll get a key with this one as well. Uh, you do probably get a lot more support. Now, free Office may not have any support associated with it, other than uh, forums and such. But you probably can get uh, on the phone and email and chat support with the the package that you get. I'm not sure you get the actual media. 
I think you got a download link and you can download it. You probably can order the media if you want to. It might cost you more money. Uh, but if you look into it, you can look into it for yourself. Uh, but this has been uh, Free Office 2018. Uh, highly recommend you get it. Um, if you get to Free Office, start using it. Free Office 2018, I guarantee you'll never go back to LibreOffice. You just won't do it. it. It's just that good. All right, so have a great day, and we'll see you again. Uh, go ahead and like my video if you like it. Subscribe and pass the word around. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.